friends uh, today we are going to see about uh, a new technology called uh, just enough administration or JEA uh, introduced by Microsoft so what is JEA okay so uh, first we will see uh, I will tell you background uh, how it was before Windows Server 2016 before Windows Server 2016 okay we had limited set of uh, you know profiles in the Windows server like power users or administrators or users so those kind of things were there okay so if I want somebody to give a custom uh, you know uh, administration power that wasn't possible okay so I would just want the user to restart the service but not reboot the server then that wasn't possible so uh, Microsoft has changed the way that administration can be done okay so they have introduced something called as just enough administration or JEA in Windows 2016 okay so JEA is a security technology that mitigates risk by enabling delegated administration for anything that is managed by Windows PowerShell okay so this is a Windows PowerShell security technology okay and allowing you to infuse enforce the security principles of least privileged so you can configure it uh, as much least as possible like uh, you know uh, today all technologies in Windows is uh, you know uh, can be handled by PowerShell so uh, using Windows PowerShell 5.1 which is uh, default in Windows uh, 2016 okay uh, JEA can be implemented and it's very effective so uh, let's see what uh, how, how JE actually works uh, just to give you a free hands on how it looks so this is the my Windows 16 server okay uh, I have opened the PowerShell console okay uh, I have created a user called Ben Smith okay and I have also created some roles okay so first I'm going to uh, connect as this user in the PowerShell okay so the command is uh, I'm get credentials the username okay and I'm going to store it in the uh, non-admin credentials uh, variable okay so get credentials user it will ask for the username password so I'm going to use the password okay now I am uh, I have uh, stored my credentials or Ben Smith in this variable so now uh, the next command is to connect to the uh, PS session okay so the command is enter PS session hyphen computer name okay uh, hyphen computer name uh, dot so I'm just going to connect to this server only if you are connecting to remote server then just give the remote server name Okay. hyphen configuration name uh, and you have to give a JEA demo uh, this is the uh, you know uh, the JEA uh, configuration that I have created for this session okay it this commands what all credentials that the user can execute what are PowerShell commands that the user can execute is defined in this uh, JEA demo configuration okay hyphen credentials then the credential of the user that you want to connect okay so we will uh, enter the PS session as Ben Smith okay with the configuration provided okay so uh, I am now connected you can see the prompt changing okay uh, you can type who am I to see uh, who is the user currently connected okay you can see that it changed to Ben Smith from uh, local admin okay so now see let's see what all commands he can execute so I will type get command and these are the commands that the user can execute that is can clear the host access PS session run the get command format the data help uh, user info measure objects select object and just restart the service apart from that he can't do anything okay 
So uh, let's say we have a level one team. Uh, their only work will be to restart the service if they get alert. Then this profile is more than enough. So let's see how it works. The restart uh, service works. So I'm just going to type uh, restart service. Print uh, service. Sorry, I don't remember the exact service name, so I'm just open, going to open the services.msc to see the principal service name. So just double click it, I can see it's Pooler. Okay, His name is Pooler. We start service. So it restarted the service successfully. Okay. So now let's. Uh, this user is, doesn't have rights to reboot the computer. Okay. So there is a command called restart uh, uh, computer. Okay. You can see that uh, it's not even giving him the option to restart it. Okay. It's going to give the error saying it's not a recognized command line okay so I'm going to exist that uh, session as Ben Smith now I'm trying to who am I you can see now I'm the lab admin so uh, now let me try to see if I am able to restart the computer restart computer you can see it's auto filling what if So the admin has rights, Ben Smith, the user, didn't have rights to restart the computer. So this is how effective is uh, uh, just enough administration. You can scope the, uh, the level of administrative powers that they uh, based on their uh, experience and groups. Okay. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching.